Well, we've taken this first part to talk about the basic tenets of PLC. And what I'd like to do is to take a combination, talk about the partnership of PLC with assessment. And I'd like for you to take a look at these two models, one in which I think many of us can relate with. If we take a look at past practices of teachers pre-testing and then opening up that content book and marching through content, teaching every page, and post-testing or post -testing, and then assigning a grade. Can any of you relate with that model? I think all of us came from that. But what we know from research and the work of Larry Ainsworth in Common Formative Assessment, that in order to prepare kids for the 21st century, we've got to take a look at this second model. So I'd like to take some time to do that. And if we could take the uh, example of a coach at the beginning of a track season, when they're coming in for that first practice with all the athletes, what they've done, good coaches always take a look at what's needed to get them ready for the state track meet. And so they come in knowing what it is to hurdle, what the, the record is to um, win that relay race and that type of thing. So they come in with the end in mind.